This is an iPad 10 that might be having motherboard issues. Another repair shop replaced the screen on it and then they started seeing the Apple logo flash on and off and we're gonna go through the process of repairing it. I believe it might be a backlight, so make sure you guys join us for the full video so you can see what it takes to repair this type of issue. Now, if you need your iPad repaired, we do offer mail-in service for anyone in the US. Reach out to me through my website and I can send you a quote. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. First important step to repairing an iPad is first understanding what is the issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the charger. We see five volts and then we get some current draw. Oh, look at that. A quick flash of the Apple logo and then it went blank. Also, I'm noticing the current is not going up to one, two amps. It seems to be climbing up and then it hits a certain point and then it drops back down to zero. You can see that flash of the Apple logo. So that's pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what's going on. Now iPad 10, it has a digitizer separate from the LCD. So you gotta be careful with that. Make sure you don't damage either one of those parts. All right, here's the LCD. Now this, the screen itself is not glued down. Okay, let me get the battery screw out. Now because this iPad has been opened before, it's very easy to uh, tear down. Let me unplug all the flexes from the screen. Now keep in mind iPad 10 does have three flex cables on here. All right, here we go. So keep in mind, there's two digitizer and then one microphone, I believe. So always keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and lay this down like this so we can protect the LCD from any damage. So let's inspect the motherboard itself. And then we are potentially having backlight issues. So let's peel this up and see if there's any tool damage, which looks clean. I don't see any obvious uh, damage components or blown components. Uh, also check for long screw damage, uh, check for any kind of tool damage somewhere around here. This all looks pretty clean. This was just a digitizer replacement. So just the glass. So now it's having that weird issue. So my next step, because it's having a quick boot loop kind of flash, flashing logo, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the battery itself, see if it has any voltage. So first thing I do is slide a guitar pick to the side of the battery connector. That way we don't slide anything directly under the battery connector, but off to the side. This will create the gap that will disconnect the battery from the board. We don't physically have to block the connection. We just have to separate the connection. So now that we have it separated, if you look closely, there's two large pins on the battery. They're contact based. So we gotta measure those, not the small ones, but the big ones to see the battery voltage. So set my multimeter into volts mode and we're gonna just probe the two big pins. Look at that, zero volts. So zero point something. This should be at least three volts or higher. So the battery has gone flat. So that's one issue. So if we pull up the board view of this iPad, if we look at the battery connector, we can see that the terminal has these pins. So there's a gray pin and then a red pin. Well, it's red because I clicked on it, but yellow. So basically this is gonna be the positive, this is the negative, the small ones are gonna be data lines. Those don't matter right now. So the goal is to, we're gonna uh, boost up this battery. So just like when your car battery dies and you gotta you know, attach the jumper cables to charge your battery from another car's battery, that's kind of what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna inject voltage into this battery and bring up the voltage so that the iPad actually uh, does not boot loop due to a dead battery. And one way to do that is with our power supply. So right now you can see it is set to 4.2 volts and three amps. If I short these together, we get that three amp draw. That means we have live voltage. And if you remember earlier, the left side was ground, the right side is positive. And then there we have, there you have it. We have 0.6 amps being injected into the battery. That is basically gonna charge up the battery to some degree. And this is essentially how a battery uh, charges. There's a, uh, current flowing into it. So let's give it a few seconds to charge up and then we'll measure the voltage again. All right, so I gave it maybe like 30 seconds uh, or so. And then if we measure it now, there, there you go, 3.751 volts. That means the battery now has a charge. So let's test again to see what the behavior is. So my next step would be to just plug in the LCD and the battery screw so that we can do some quick testing to see if the device is fixed. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, plug this back in and then let's monitor the current. 
Oh, look at that, 15 volts. And we got Apple logo and we have uh, almost two amps. Could it be that that was as simple as just a dead battery? I thought it was a backlight. I've seen a lot of iPad 10s with blown backlights that cause temporary um, Apple logo and then goes black. In this case, it looks like it's fixed. Look, we have a pin code screen that's detecting the battery, 15%. So these are all good signs. So if you guys are doing iPad repairs with USB-C, make sure you guys get yourself one of these. This USB-C meter helps with troubleshooting. If you get 15 volts, you know that the CD 3217 USB-C controller chip is working. You know the USB-C port is good. If you don't get 15 volts, also you gotta make sure you have the right brick that supports 15 volts. So, you know, 14.7, you round that up to 15. Also you see the high current draw, like almost two amps. So this is, uh, seems to be a fully working iPad. Let me reassemble it fully and test it further. All right, so now that I have the digitizer and LCD all plugged in, I can now test that touch is fully working and this seems to be a fully fixed iPad. Unfortunately, it wasn't a motherboard issue. It was just a simple battery problem. So hopefully you guys learned how to deal with uh, dead batteries, how to measure them, how to check them, and how to jumpstart them. It's a really critical skill to have as a repair shop to use a DC power supply to inject voltage into the battery and save the battery. So there you have it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys are liking and subscribing. Comment down below what you guys learned from today's tutorial. And if you guys need a repair, send me a message. We do offer B2B pricing as well. So thanks everyone for watching. If you wanna see more iPad repair videos, I'll post one right here, right below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.